Hey folks, just a quick video on a, um, you see now, so it's the Porta Potty uh, Cube 335. So this is a portable toilet. So uh, anyone who has, like us, who has a camper van but doesn't come with a toilet is probably going to be interested in this particular video. So why did we buy this? Well, like I said, we have a camper van and the camper van does not come equipped with a, its own toilet. Um, and when we were when we were setting up the van, we basically I just assumed we'd be more remote and we'd need this, and um, you know not to get caught short and 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 so on. Ha so we went out and bought it, and we bought it from um, Omar's camping in Dublin, and it was one hundred and eighty euro at the time. And we um, sorry now, I'm just gonna get something because I need something for the video. So we 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 went it, we bought it for it was one hundred and eighty euro, and we bought it. And um, the, the, the reason this one is recommended for the California is because this, the dimensions of it are such that it fits in the press under the sink really neatly and it doesn't take up any additional space. So for the first little while, that's where it lived. It lived under the sink. Um, but over time, we needed the space. So it was eventually moved into the boot where it sits under the back seat. Uh, and so that that's where it has sat. So we have it since as, as long as we have the van. So the van, we have the van about a year. So we have it about a year as well, I'd say. And we haven't used it. It's a um, bit of a dud in that we just haven't we just haven't needed it because the campsites we go to all have toilets and facilities. And if we're out and about, then we just use toilets and facilities and restaurants and stuff. So we haven't we haven't really needed to use it. Now saying that, if we went wild camping or we were camping in a city overnight, say stealth camping or something like that, that's probably when it would come into its own because clearly if you have to go to the loo, um, you don't want to be going outside somewhere. So you would need it, uh, you would need it then. Uh, I put it together, so what, what you basically what you have to do is when you, you put it together, and the main putting it together is filling it with the particular fluids. So what you have here is you have these two fluids here, and one is the toilet fluid and the other one is the rinse. So effectively, this one sits in the toilet and that's where obviously where your waste goes. It goes into this one and then this chemically breaks it down. Then you have a flush mechanism and this one helps flush it as well. So that's that's what it is. And then the, the, perp, the, the way it works is that you can take it apart and you can carry your waste. If you're on a campsite, you carry your waste and you dump it down there, toilet facility. So, so you can see here if I show you, it's obviously called the cube for, for a reason because it's that shape. And again, this is the one that is recommended for people who are using a camper van. So I'll just show you the top here. So that's that's the toilet bowl. So naturally you sit you sit on the toilet bowl and do what you want and um now it hasn't been used, it's brand new. And then down here, so let's see. So this is this thing here. So look in here. Water. And it looks like it's pink. So again, like I said, I set this up and I haven't used it since. So I'm a bit, so that looks like it's the rinse. And then I think this thing here, then basically this is a pump. So when you pull it up and down, the fluid comes down here and washes your waist down into it. Um, and then you, so you close it. Well, actually you have to, there's a little drawer here. So when you pull that drawer, it opens up the bottom. So you can see the blue fluid. And again, because it's been sitting for a year, I don't know what that means. It might be a good thing or a bad thing. You may have to replace it. But naturally, when you close it, it seals it back up and keeps all the odors in itself. Because actually, the chemical itself has quite a, a chemically kind of smell, if you know what I mean. There's an indicator here to shows you how full it is. So obviously, depending on how often you're going to use it. Now, now when I think about it, if you had kids... It's that's probably really what it would be ideal for. I think if you have children, so you know, sitting kids on the potty and stuff like that as well. And then, um, then once it's sealed around the back, I think it's here. You undo a mechanism here, and the whole idea then is when you undo, oops, when you undo the mechanism, and then you see if you your handle here. Okay, so you have your handle here. It comes apart, and then your waist is trapped inside this bottom part this kind of waste cassette and then you're able to bring this away to the um you know to dump it down the toilet so so what i'll do is i'll pause the video for a second and i'll see if i can take the top off without too much of a pull out and i'll show you that 
Okay, I'm back again. So very simply, very simple to do actually. You just basically, like I was saying, you just basically pull this piece to one side and the top part comes off. So you can see they're, they're independent of each other. So there's no, li no liquid uh, spilling all over the place or anything like that. Very neat and tidy. And this is obviously, you can see, can I open this piece now? Now it's sealed. So this is obviously that hole that I was showing you where the waste is. So the waste is, sits in here. It's all sealed. You can't open it. And then again, you can pick it up and carry. And then this guy here, this guy here, when you take it off, you can then obviously empty it down, empty it, empty it out, empty your wastes out through there, down the drain. And I think you're supposed to push a button or something like that or something. And what it does is it basically equalizes it and it lets the air in as it's emptying out, which makes, which is obviously neater and cleaner. And then I think then the idea then is what you're supposed to do then is rinse the whole thing out, bring it back up, click the whole thing together, and then fill her back up with these guys here. And, and I think that's really it now. I'm, you know, I haven't used it. This is the thing, we haven't really used it. Now I like, I do like having it in the van. It takes up a bit of space, um, but I do like having it in the van because again, I think it is handy to have if we ever did need to use it for whatever reason, you know, I don't know. The, you can see here, this bottle's here. So that's 9.99, so it's a tenner. A tenner for these, and that's obviously some kind of special offer. I think when you buy it, you get lots of little sample bottles and so on like that. And I think I think Omaris may have given us this bottle here, and um, when we were buying it. So yeah, look, I think it's a good piece of a good piece of equipment. I haven't had to use it, so I don't know. I don't know what's involved. They are highly recommended for California, and um, yeah. So look, I think that's really it. So if you get one, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.